Hey guys, I just wanted to show you something um, that you can do with a fidget spinner. Um, so I mean, let's say if you just had one just laying around, and all you do is just fidget with it, like a normal daily person, you can actually use this in a very cool way. So um, if you see the, these these two, um, see that piece right there? You can actually take it off. I mean, for me, I can, but um, for those who actually have a, have a fidget spinner that you can take off, the, the centers, then you're good. So, um, something really cool that I figured out is that if you have, um, a pencil, so you take off the lid, well, it works best with a, um, well, for me, it works better with a, uh, erasable pen. So I just stick it through here, and I push this down like that, so it just stays in place. So, something really cool is that if I were to stand it up, it would obviously stay, but if I were to flick it, it would fall down. But if I were to spin it, if I were to flick it, nothing would happen. It would just spin around. And if, you can also hit it like any way you want. If you can still see on the camera, it's still standing. It's like a pretty cool thing that I just found out. So yeah, now I'm sure you can see it. But you can basically hit it. As long as you have a lot of momentum, then it can basically work. And also, um, another cool trick is that... uh. If you were to keep it like this and let go, nothing happens, right? But if you were to spin this really fast and then leave it at that direction, it will actually it will actually spin around, and then after like 30 seconds, it will actually um, straighten up. So let's see if that works. And as you can see, it's now straightening up. And, well, it just did, basically. So as you can see, it's now um, straightened up. And if I were to stop this... Oh, whoops. It would still be standing because it was still perfectly still. But otherwise, this is a really cool trick that I figured out that you can do with, with your fidget spinner. And also, you, and if you wanted to take it out, put on the cap, like if you have a erasable pen. And then push down, and it should come out. And then you're good. And also, another trait that you can do um, with this, with a pen, I think. Wait a second. What was I just going to do? Oh, yeah. And you can also stick it in these holes right here. Ah, oh, dang it. So these would also work as well. And you can just do this if you want. Just spin around. You can basically do anything. Like, there, like there's a lot of different things you can do with these things. You see, it's taking me like a really nice hand coordination thing. It's a nice fun toy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, there are a lot of different variety of things you can do with a fidget spinner. If I re I definitely recommend you to get one. Oh, dang it. Oh, shoot, wrong way. There we go, I got it. So um if you have a fidget spinner, I definitely recommend you try these tricks. They are so cool. And they're just awesome. And it's so satisfying to play with these things. Like, all day long. Like, I can do this all day, honestly. But otherwise, if you have a fidget spinner, and if it has a hole in the center, just like this, I recommend you to try to find something that you, that, that can fit inside. Because this is really cool. It's an amazing experiment. I showed it with my friend the other day, and it's so fun. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it.